Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Ara. Welcome back to a new video, baby. I hope you're doing fantastic. And if you're brand new, be sure you subscribe and drop a like. Today we're doing another reaction video. We're watching KSI, man. And apparently, Dennis Dillard or Dennis pulled out, man. You know, I'm so disappointed because I really wanted to see this, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this would have been the first fight that KSI has been in with the real combat athlete. You know what I'm saying? But he pulled out and thankfully, uh, Face Temper joined in, man. He is the Face Temper is replacing Dillian, Dillian, Dildo, Dennis, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I, I've been watching Face Temper a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? When he used to do the temper shots, I used to watch his tutorials in MW2 on how to do um the temper shots. So I was, yeah, I've been a big fan of the Face Clan in general, my guy, you know what I'm saying? So my top three favorite Face, face members is um Face Rug. If you know Face Rug, he's got like 30 million subscribers and then maybe Face Agony and then like probably Face sensor you know what i'm saying there's so many face guys like adapt rain you know what i'm saying i'm a big face fan and i also love ksi man so without further ado let's jump straight into it and let's see what ksi is gonna say about dildo dennis pulling up yo what's up it's your boy ksi and yes dylan dennis has pulled out the fight shock who saw this coming <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable Unbelievable stuff from uh, Bro, you probably got scared when you uploaded that video of you squatting 120 and bench pressing 130, man. What the? You was probably like, fuck this, I'm out, man. And my man that. signed it, signed to fight me two, three months ago and said, yes, I want to go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then what, a week, two weeks before the fight? Nah, I'm scared, KSI, I'm scared. <laughs> <sighs> I don't want the sp Dude, that nigga should be penalized for pulling out a week before, man. I should give him at least four weeks advance, you know what I'm saying? Because if you just pull out out of a three months contract like that, you should be penalized, should get no money, should even like get jail time. Smoke, I'm a. I'm out. And uh, yeah, he pulled out. So I'm fighting Face Temper instead. I Tommy! You see on the poster, your boy. Bro, you should have fought like, um. Tommy Fury, but I guess that's two, That's like only one week notice, you know what I'm saying? But Face Tempa's a good guy, got knocked out by Slim, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be getting in the ring. Joe oh, Fortuna, Joe Fortuna. He's a good He's a good opponent, he's undefeated. Face, <laughs> Cyber versus Face, Cyber versus Face Tempa. It's going to be a good fight. I've Face Tempa is one of the owners of Face Clan, so right now I believe he's one of the head owners, you know what I'm saying? But he's not... The, He's one of the owners. I don't think he's the founder, you know what I'm saying? But he's one of the owners right now, currently. So that's good. The response. A lot of people are very excited. If not more excited than the Dylan fight. I guess a lot of people just thought Dylan was trash. But it would have been nice to beat up this trash bag. <laughs> By the way, I'm going in with a better fighter. Wow, well, you know what? Dylan isn't even a fighter. We're, we're not calling him a fighter. But yeah, I'm going in with <laughs> a a clown. The I saw fighter. the thumbnail here, yeah, the clown. <laughs> next week, January the 14th. I'll see you there. Tickets down below. And uh, yeah, today I wanted to just laugh. I just want to laugh at Dylan Dennis. Because why not? <laughs> He's a clown. He's an absolute clown. So let's He's a laugh pussy, man. Now. He's not a clown. He's a pussy. Oh, for 10 minutes straight, I want this to be his legacy. Just him being an absolute idiot. <laughs> an idiot. A a stupid that <laughs> literally now has no legs to ever stand on. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's do it. Why the hell would Dillian Dallas pull up, man? You know what I'm saying? He's just a pussy, man. And I'm disappointed. I really wanted to see him test KSI because he's a combat athlete. He's a UFC fighter. I really wanted to see him like go in there and test KSI. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm gonna get Tommy if his temper. Personality, and that's the thing with Marcel too. Is like he was getting mad at me for like. Hey, look! It's Conor McGregor's bitch right there! Pussy! This is the only time I actually agree with Jake. Pussy! Pussy! Fuck you, bitch! Still missed. Fucking motherfucker. Fuck, that was terrible aim. Wait, was that Jake Paul? What the fuck? Still missed. That was one of the worst toilet throws I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. I was gonna try to jump on the truck, but you're gonna get it. Dude, there's no way. There's so shot, bro, bro, bro. There's no way. There's no way you have the fitness to. <laughs> there's no way you have the legs, the pace to catch up to the car. And even if you were right next to the car, you'd still miss. <laughs> you'd still like you somehow did. fall over. I think you did. You fell over when you threw. Yeah, the and even missed. Just off target. Well, that was embarrassing. Through the toilet. Man, <laughs> slid through in your toilet roll. You got beat by a toilet roll. <laughs> Joe 
Joe Ball for everybody. And, and if we're there to jump out, then I got to get involved. I got to dust off the old the old skill set. I don't think he would actually box me either. And they're like, you no, you wouldn't not. box anyone. You wouldn't box anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Swamps. Swamps would beat you. <laughs> the only reason Swamps would beat you. would beat you too. <laughs> you know what Pineda. It's because at least he'd be able to get into the ring. <laughs> You can't even do that. <laughs> you are dead, but <laughs> walking. <laughs> oh, God. The other day this game, so me and Brian, the security guard. All right, so now I can tell you, at the press conference, we had the security guard ready. He was going to be there, ready, waiting to show up during the press conference. That would have... <laughs> Just to see his face, just to see him shit himself, would have been the funniest thing ever. But you know what? This is even better. We just get to clown him anyway. <laughs> this was, yeah. Clown and jiu jitsu master. Jiu jitsu master just getting choked out by a security guard <laughs> on his normal nine to five. This. Dilo Del Dennis not even good at his job. His only job, and he's terrible at it. <laughs> he said, like, he's tough him. Yeah, niggas gonna die. Oh, the security guard's got a nice lock in as well. With the legs wrapped around, got nice and tight. Fair play, bro. And now with him just getting arrested. Wait, what the hell did he do? Why is he getting arrested, bro? Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, honestly, he is a pointless stain on this earth. It's. <laughs> What is the point of him? Well, Dylan Dennis, welcome to Austin, Texas. Fight against KSI confirmed. How'd you feel? It's not great. I mean, it's easy money, to be honest. That's a little bitch of a thing. I'm used to fighting real fighters. He's, he's, he's not ready for this. I guarantee you I knock his ass out. Watch. You pulled out. It's just so much more. Probably pulls out a pussy, too. Rich you know now watching this. <laughs> knowing, knowing <laughs> everything we know now. Tell me a little bit about yesterday. I mean, just, just talk me through what happened with the coffee. I just, it was in the moment, to be honest, he's in front of me, and he's a fucking ugly ass face, so I just smacked him, that's all it is, you know, it is what it is, it's just natural, you know, he, he says he's gonna hand you a defeat, what, what's your response to that, where's he at right now, bring him to me right now, see what he's gonna say to my fucking face, in a real fight, I toss him in a fucking goddamn bounty bag, so, what's gonna happen, Bro, I mean, I think, I think we'll Bro, just have fight, you're not a real fighter, you're nothing, you're nothing, <laughs> Until we get you guys face to face in the ring, but what will you say to him when you get the opportunity to see him face to face in front of that? I'm gonna hurt him bad, bro. Like, the fucked up part about all this whole thing is, is like these little YouTube boxers, they're gonna see what a real fighter feels like. He's gonna see who he is. I'm how about, how about him bad? No, we're not gonna see anything because you're a fucking clown pussy. You showed us, Dennis. You showed us all. <laughs> you really yes. showed us all. Does that us, make man. you feel like you're coming to his garden, maybe? Well, I'm more popular in London than he is, bro. I'm the fucking real motherfucker in London. Fuck this motherfucker. Boys, if you're still watching, be sure you drop a sub right now and drop a like. I love you, man. I don't really get shit. Like, it's all, you know. Fab, I know criminals that are more loved than you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah love, you know what I'm saying? Drop, his, I'm drop a sub man. to show me some love, I'm man. Not, well, t- I'm, I'm, still, I'm still trying to understand. How are you going to hurt me badly when you... T- <laughs> When you literally push it out, I'm fighting me. <laughs> Help me back, me, man. Come on. <laughs> you, you had the chance. And you failed at that. The easiest part, entering the ring. That was the easiest bit. And you failed. He's going he's gonna to feel... And he missed out on a big page. He's going to feel what a real like person feels like. Bro, no, you didn't no, say no. anything. You didn't say anything except, oh, I'm going to show, I'm going to show KSR what a real fighter is. All right, cool. Now what? Anymore. I'm not fucking Anderson Silva that's 40 years old or fucking Tyron Wolde. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, see. okay. You're 29 and still a bitch. <laughs> You're 29 and a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, buddy. No one's stretching their hands out to dap it, by the way. <laughs> Don't try to change the subject. Honor is the reason why anyone in MMA knows who you are. That's I didn't fine. know who you were. That's not true. I legit That's didn't know who you were before you brought you in. I don't know what you mean. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? 
<laughs> but, but Nuka had nothing to say, you know what I'm saying? He just had to run his mouth because he was getting roasted. Yes, I. He called me out, but then you backed out. You had the chance to fight me, but you went with the easier route, the walking toothpick. So, if you decide to be a man and fight a real fighter, let me know. I'm going to knock your head so far back, it's going to be worse than your forehead. See you soon. Who's the real pussy now, motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? I think this was uh, after I, I, I fought either Alex Wasabi or Swans and Panetta. And, ah, uh, bro. Bro, all of them are better than you. <laughs> Panetta? No, not Wasabi. He didn't even enter the ring as well. Swans. Oh, my God. Swans is the go. And Panetta is the go. Both entered the ring. Yeah. <laughs> Man came with all this smoke. It was like, oh, you decided to fight these human toothpicks. When you want to fight a real fighter, you know where I'm at. Look at this smug little smile of his. <laughs> oh, no, it's a chance. That failed. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Dude. Like your press conference. <laughs> Wait till you see. The does what it wants. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bro, his tattoos look really bad, man. What the fuck? His tattoo looks so ugly. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Dillian Dennis' tattoo looks so bad. So, <laughs> did you fight yourself then? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Look at this, boy. That's so cringy, bro. That's a fucking shitty tattoo, man. This makes you look fucking. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? I was just walking down there, man. Oh, no, man. damn. God damn. No, you know what? That's an insult to women. <laughs> I know women that would have entered the ring. Fucking hell, bro. You don't have, like, a main head coach? <laughs> Who's going to be your, your guy? I myself. I don't need fucking help for... You're not going to have a corner? I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Come on. The case is like can't be that disliked. Yeah. No one wants to train with you? No, it's not that. I just don't trust nobody right now. Why? Yeah. I don't know. That's not a good way to live. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I crush myself like that. <laughs> I just, dude, what the fuck? That mentality, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just don't trust anyone. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here trying to eat, man. You know what I'm saying? Can't be that disliked. Yeah. No one wants to train with you? No, it's not that. I just don't trust nobody right now. Why? I don't know. That's not a good way to live. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I crush myself like that. I've been with Viking for a long time. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it shows. I was I was actually playing I was actually playing Overwatch, you know, when I got the news that you pussy out. Playing video games like FIFA or something while I'm training and stuff. I can't wait to put him down. And then we stop on his grave in London and party. <laughs> Bro, so I'm here playing games, I'm training. You're here only training, and you still pull out. Like, make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Oh, something. Man. I mean, is it possible that this fight gets canceled? Are you being sincere when you say that? I, think, I truly think that they're in over their head, and they're trying to put like weird things. I don't know. I feel like they're just trying to handicap me, and I won't be the kind of guy that will go into these fights with these guys handicap. Um. You know, usually I really don't care, but it just seems like very good down. It's just a lot of fishy things going on, and uh, it's not on my side. I'm ready to go. I would love to know what you mean when you say handicap. Like, what are the new things they're suggesting? New things. Something with the weight. Pause where I can't be. So the fight's at 177. And I, I've been injured for oh, I mean, two years, and I'm obviously not a bigger guy, but I'll make the weight the day before, like everybody is, I'm a professional, I don't miss weight. They want me to be like four pounds, day, four pounds heavier the day of, like, by 4 p.m. 4 p.m., so the fight's at 7 or 8 o'clock, I don't know, and they want me to be weighing at 4 p.m. the day of the fight, only four pounds heavier, and, or five pounds, and like, I'm stupid. Okay, like, so, basically, uh, there was a rehydration clause. You should have not put a rehydration clause, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas probably rehydrate all the way up to 200, men to a cruiserweight. That's why they probably put that in there, you know what I'm saying? They don't want that nigga coming in as a heavyweight or a cruiserweight. Because what niggas do, like, they come in and once they come in at low weight, and then the next day they go and eat and then put on all this mess. Hope, hopefully, they're like hoping you to give them more punching power or more clause, punch resistance. Which was mentioned at the beginning of the contract. 
okay, that he signed. He signed this. And apparently he didn't read it or he didn't see it. And he was like, oh, they're trying to add some shit. No, well, he must be one of those niggas that take a contract and not sign them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just click accept. You know what I'm saying? Boys, drop his tab right now, man. We didn't add anything. It was the same contract. <laughs> anyway, he was crying about rehydration clause, blah, blah, blah. We were like, all right, cool. Take out the re- rehydration clause. Just take it out. Go out to rehydrate. Be awake. And then you can balloon to whatever weight you want to be. Still pussy now. <laughs> gave him everything. Literally gave him everything he wanted. And he still said no. He still said no. It's just, he, bro, he just got scared. And you know how crazy it is? When someone that says, I fight real fires, KSI is not a real fire. You know, you got Conor McGregor saying, I'm a friendly little nerd, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's... It's just cringe, man. Ah, oh, mate, this is so... Oh! Bro, I got clipped by a power right by a right hook, man, and it, it dropped him back. And he didn't try to get him back, he just moved back. What a fucking pussy, man. Why didn't he try to get his back, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to get out of harm's way. He didn't want anything to do with that. He just wanted to get out of there. Like sure, let's try to find that. Nerd, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's... It's just crazy. Let's look at Jimmy and Dennis back in Ah, oh, mate, this is so much more oh. than But I just wish I was the man to do this. Oh. I wish I was the man to do this. Please don't make sure you have a damn hook. Oh, my God. I just want to see this over and over It's just... No, 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 I'm not... Well, unless it looks like he's got a good chin. This is... No. And again, Ooh. one more time. <laughs> Bro, that connected nicely. Look at this guy. So good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at your eye. Fucking swelling up. Dickhead. <laughs> that Dickhead. still wants you, idiot. Dylan <laughs> tweeted this dark tweet today saying he would pee on KSI's grave. This is him, by the way, getting choked out by a part time chocolate ear. That, when some random security guard is choking you out, I can't think of anything more humiliating for the guy. Yeah, well, I'm going to add on to that humiliation. The guy isn't even a full-time uh, security man. He's not a full-time bouncer. He's actually a chocolatier. That's what he does. <laughs> the guy's a fucking chocolatier. He's Willy a Wonka. He's Willy Wonka. Hey, Willy Wonka. Chocolate, Dildo, but Willy Wonk, Willy Wonk. Oh, gosh, we need to do it a few hours. Hey, Willy Wonk. He's never done what jiu-jitsu. <laughs> He's done a little bit of Krav Maga. That's actually unbelievable. <laughs> We're choked out by Willy Wonka. Easy work. No, you Easy didn't. Work. Work. Wait, bro, you didn't yeah. come anywhere. <laughs> Easy work, more like no work, because you ain't fired. You ain't fired. Easy no fight. All of this. Easy work. <laughs> shit, this video, oh. it really is shit, man. <laughs> South I mean, anyone can look good on the pads, but it looks pretty sharp, you know what I'm saying? I would have liked to see him going in church. Trash with boxing gloves. Yeah, no, no. What happened? Don't worry about it. Hey. So I shake my hand, now you don't want to say what cool. Don't worry about it. You just, like, this man got all his money on the line. You come up here and do shit. Yeah. Like, that's cool. Yeah, so what's up? Don't what's up? Don't want to get down in the street. That's fine. What's up there? That's fine. What's up there? Out on a big page, you know what I'm saying? I was just going in and checking the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was too scared to face. <laughs> I'm so pissed to learn down this year. You're such a bitch, you literally give for nothing cockroach. 
I knew he would pull out. It's a shame his dad did it. Swans. <laughs> shame Swans. on the zone. Shame on misfits. Shame on everyone who thought that this was actually going to happen. Now, they announced uh, it's a true, replacement it's true. KSI's fighting January 14th. Well, I, yeah, uh, looking, you know, looking back now, you know, maybe we should we shouldn't have given him the benefit of the doubt. I don't. It's just because he was just so adamant. He signed. He did everything, saying like, "Let's go! I'm ready for the fight." He was so down, bro. I was gonna be fighting Woodley. Dennis was so down. Woodley was giving us problems. Dennis was so down, so we were like, "All right, cool. Let's fight Dennis." Wait, did you actually try to fight a Tyron Woodley? Dude, I thought that was only me. He actually did try. Wow. Now look, fuck sake, <laughs> literally trained for weeks against the Southpaw. Weeks, weeks, weeks. Rounds after round, hundred plus rounds of just southpaws. Then this pussy. This oh pussy. yeah, Tempa is a southpaw as well, so maybe that's why he chose Tempa. Or Tommy. Pulls out. Absolute dickhead, man. Better chance of him showing up. Better chance of fucking Sally down the block showing up rather than uh, Dylan Dennis. Better chance of the guy who delivered my Uber Eats uh, of showing up than Dylan Dennis. I told you all. Yeah. I told you all. And yeah. after that interview, and the guys could attest to this, I was down. I felt dirty. I felt legit dirty. I felt like I wasted your time. I felt like I wasted my time. I sat in front of a man with fake teeth who was constantly lying, yeah. making up shit. Yeah. And then he went on other shows. And lied, and lied, and lied, and lied, and actually thought, my friends, that he got the better of me in that interview, <laughs> and actually thought that we were back in each other's good graces, and actually sent me multiple DMs wow. after the show, wow. after the interview, to be like, yo, bro, that was good shit, right? You know what I did every time I saw him pop up? <laughs> delete, <laughs> delete. And then he would delete, and then I would just delete the conversation. And then he reached out to friends, and he's like, is Ariel mad? Is Ariel mad? Again, you lie yep. in front of me, mm -hmm. or behind my back, or on other shows, and I have zero respect for you. Yeah. Zero. Bro, Ariel the GOAT. Ariel the GOAT, man. From now on, you know, I'll always listen to it, man. Like, yeah, I'll never, bro, Dylan will never, will never, will never get that opportunity ever again. It's pulled out less times than Dildo. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to let it come up, man. <laughs> of course he pulled out. He's a pussy. Pussy clown. Pussy boy. That's the far right pass. I ain't going to lie. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Adrian Brona, eh? Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 but never <it's> was time to fight. <laughs> oh, oh, God's sake! That's <laughs> that John that's Cena one was good, man. Oh, I see the Danny White. That's it. That's it. Pretend. Julian Dennis out of a boxing match against Kelly outside. Pretends to be shot. To be shot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's when it's time to punch a Luca to opportunity. <laughs> yeah, what was out of the fight? Literally, we reaction to that shocking news. Yeah. I know. I know. I knew that that's what bitch out. From now, this guy should be known as Dildo Dennis Facts. Dylan Dennis, the type of motherfucker that hits you up asking if you want to smoke a blunt, then shows up without any weed. <laughs> <laughs> I see all these haters clowning on Dylan Dennis, but he's undefeated in both boxing and MMA. <laughs> well, I thought he's defeated. It's a smart MMA. tactic. He's always undefeated if he never shows up. <laughs> and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? After he pulls out, this is what he tweets. Fake news. With a laugh in the What do you mean it's fake news? It's real. You pulled out. The truth will shock everyone. And then he retweets it. <laughs> what is wrong with him? <laughs> this delusional idiot. <laughs> you know what's even more funny? His team said this. Imagine if he tries to come back into the fight after Tommy replaced him. I don't know. Will KSI accept? I don't know. So Dylan wants to propose postponing the fight for six months as your rights under the contract and he would be willing to sign something assessing liquidated damages of $100,000 to 
to Misfits in the event he doesn't show up. That's what his uh, team has said. Dennis still thinks he has a chance to fight me six months down the line. <laughs> Dildo. <laughs> Dildo. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Fuck oh. yourself. God you damn. are a pointless stain on this earth. <laughs> fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Get fucked. You twat. You dickhead. Everyone now knows what you are. Bitch mate. You're a bitch. And you will never get this opportunity ever again. Now go and fuck off. It is done. Never again. This has been your boy KSI. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. And peace. Absolute toss pot. Absolute waste of a human being. God damn. You know what's up mad, your boy, bro. KSI? You know what yes. Dylan. So that's it, boys. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more amazing content like this, man. I love you all. Be sure you leave a sub. And I'll uh, catch you on the next video, baby. Peace out.